it. You know? I was asking Louise earlier on about being a woman a, a, among so many men. Yeah. And and you three ladies, like, you kept at it. You kept you kept mm -hmm. going. You're still going. You're still at it. Uh, it wasn't it a, a, a struggle to survive, and it's a very ma it's a very male dominated world. Well, it wasn't that time really no, for the men. It wasn't. Right. No, it wasn't when we You get started. the impression that all that touring was kind of a man's thing, but obviously no, not. No, not it, at it all. Wasn't. Well, we, sure, we changed. It. Well, the only thing that probably would have been a difficult thing, the changing facilities wouldn't have been the best. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. You have you heard of the Irish Lady Soccer Team? They they. Have a similar, <laughs> they have a similar problem. <laughs> don't they? In other words, nothing's changing, really, is it? Yeah, well, we, no. we, we had the problem where all the, the you know, it was catering for men. Uh -huh, that's you true. Know. Yeah. And, and uh, we just had to... Well, we would go in and just tag along. If there was a toilet anywhere around, but if you were in a marquee, you were in trouble. Ah. Because you had, a, <laughs> you had to get somebody to maybe hold a coat up or something, you would get changed. And then you had, there was... You had, Went into the toilets and there was buckets in the toilets that time. Uh, there, there was a fella down in, in, in uh, my law carnival. I, I was playing in it one night and he was an elderly fella, you know. And yes. uh, I came out and he says, where are you looking to go? And I says, uh, well, I was just going to go to the ladies. He says, put your bum to the wind. 